All right, so I'm here at the doctor's office today. I'm gonna finally get the results of a test I did a couple weeks ago. My car was running kind of weird on the whole way here. It's starting to run smoother, but uh, hopefully nothing's wrong with this engine. And today I'll find out if there is something wrong with my ticker. I'm bringing the GoPro in on the little suction cup just to have it kind of a place to sit. So I'm not gonna bring this camera in. But anyway, I'm here kind of early, about 20 minutes early. Hopefully, I'll be able to get in early. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go in. So I'm in the waiting room. They just did blood pressure and oxygen tests and weighed me. It's so not waiting for the doctor. So, so Mr. Johnson, I got the results. Um, I'm actually gonna go through all of them. Runner from top to bottom. Right? Now, this is very important. This is your sugar index, or called the A1C. This is actually your uh, risk factors for diabetes and yours was great. Okay. 5.6 and no diabetes. Um, yeah. Look that, at that, your cholesterol. Your total okay. cholesterol was uh, 138. Okay. Right here. Okay. Better than mine. And your bad cholesterol was 86. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> this is a thyroid panel. Your thyroid panel was normal. Okay. And thyroid's the uh, one of the glands, isn't it? It's the gland okay. that's responsible for the metabolism of your body. Okay. But I'm really, really happy with you. Okay. And what about the that's all blood, right? All blood. Okay, so all the blood came up good. What about the heart? So it, the radiologist did call it a little bit of stress and a little bit of LVH. So your heart was under stress. And I told you before, I think that was from your blood pressure. So you kind of corroborated what we said. And your blood pressure is a little elevated today. The fact that your labs are pretty good. I think I want to start you on just a baby dose of blood pressure medicine. Okay. And believe it or not, if you did what you told me before, and if we can kind of get a little bit more active and reduce some of the salt in your diet, <clears throat> you'll see that you might not need to be on this medicine for a while. Okay. But at this point, this is the second time your blood pressure is stage two, meaning it's over 160. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of put you on something to kind of help protect your heart. But the heart did show a little bit of strain and you want that to be reversed by a year. Sounds good? Cool. All right, I'm running. I'm gonna get my extra tech to come grab you, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. Hey, no problem, Mr. Chelsea. Just got finished doing x-rays. That was so different than the last time I've ever had x-rays. So you're pretty young. You have significant osteoarthritis of both knees. <laughs> and we actually call it, if you had to measure it, mild, moderate, severe. I'll call you mild to moderate. Okay. The, the real and the true problem with this is that there's no cure. Okay. Yeah. Osteoarthritis yeah. is um, a progressive disease. Yeah. It gets worse with time. We give medicines to help reduce its progression. Mm -hmm. We tell people to lose weight to help with stress. Right. But the body's kind of dumb. It tries to make more cartilage, but it can't, so it makes more bone. Right. Which causes more disease. Right. And so you have some extra bone, I'm gonna show you on the outside, on your lateral compartments and your medial and behind your kneecap. But most importantly, you have a piece of chips. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me my knees are bad. It's like, oh, well, I knew that, just the degree of badness. <laughs> To be honest with you, that's not common. No, 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 I know. I'm not saying it should be. I'm saying it's one of those things I've been living with. And well, I was giving you such high praise about your lab work, too. Yeah. But I come with this one. Yeah. You knew something had to be bad. All right, buddy. You're going to see me in about two weeks anyway. We're going to talk a little bit more. But now you got three medicines. You come in with nothing, you leave with three. So, holy shit, my knees are fucked up. I mean, to have the, the part of the uh, bone that got pulled away by the ligament, and then my knee healed itself a long time ago, and I have bone spurs and all those other problems. Woo! I keep trying to tell people my knees are, like, really bad. He, and he even said, your knees are the knees of someone that's, like, much older, like, in their 60s. <laughs> so, and I've always said that. I got the knees of, like, a 50 to 60-year-old. You know, um, but yeah, I mean, here's some pictures, um, just, I'm going to cycle through. So you see one here, here's the chip that uh, got pulled off to the side, and um, here you can see some of the, the osteoporosis, I never can pronounce that right, of the jagged edges where bone has regrowed because of no cartilage. And you can see here um, how my knees, this is straight on, are like really wide. And I think that's because of my flat footedness, years and years of my knees bending in because of the weight and flat footedness. Uh, they're now like in the wrong position. So, so that's, just, that's, just, that's just crazy. Uh, I mean, I knew my knees were bad, but 
you know, good sign that my uh, my blood's good. And so I'm gonna go um, go pick up my uh, my medication now. I'm gonna call and see if it's ready and go pick it up. Whew. Anyway, craziness. I just want to say one thing that I really like my doctor. That's uh, Dr. Tilton. He works here in West Bank. Um, great guy. I, I feel like I get along with him really well. He's, he's got good personality. Uh, maybe it's because he's close to my age. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like uh, versus some of the older doctors I have dealt with most, most of my life, I feel like he doesn't talk down to me. He doesn't make me feel bad about my weight or anything. He, 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 I feel like he honestly cares. And, um, which is, I feel sometimes rare, you know, at least some of the doctors I've dealt with, I just sometimes never feel like they cared. And it was always like, oh, you're overweight. You need to do something about it. Like, he's like, oh, you're overweight. This is a problem. Let's see if we can fix this. You know, it's, it's, it, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a good feeling with this doctor, Dr. Tilton. So, anyway, West Bank Medical and Walk-In Clinic in West Wego. Or no, it's technically Marrero. Anyway. Just got my prescriptions from Plaquemines Pharmacy. And, see, and you see, you know, people talk about, you know, insurance and things like that. I, I got the new state's new Medicaid because uh, our new governor instituted a, a newer form of the Medicaid. I, I, don't, I don't know the specifics of it here in Louisiana, but since he instituted that, I was able to get insurance as well as thousands of other Louisiana residents and because of that I was finally able to go to the doctor to find out about let's, my knees and my blood pressure and all these other things and get medication for it. So without this I could have been continuing on an avenue of you know not knowing what was specifically wrong with me or specifically what to do about it uh, medication wise. So you know I'm not trying to argue for free health care or anything but in some cases, people do need to know, and I've always, and I haven't been to the doctor in you know six years, and the reason is because doctors are expensive, and I had no for, I didn't know if I went in there they were going to want to do all these tests that I couldn't afford, and you know, or I don't know, just it's nice having insurance. Anyway, now to go home. <laughs>